Davis, ever since I've been on the set, I've heard nothing but discussion of Eve. May I have your opinion of her? The golden girl, the cover girl, the girl next door, the girl on the moon. Time's been very good to Eve. Life goes where she goes. She's been profiled, covered, revealed, reported. What she wears and where and when, whom she knows, and where she was and when and where she's going. Eve has insatiable ambition and talent. An improbable person with a contempt for humanity, an inability to love or be loved. But how can such a woman fool so many? Well, how does any Eve do it? She's a girl of so many interests. Pretty rare quality these days. A girl of so many rare qualities. So she seems. So you pointed out so often. So many qualities so often. Her loyalty, efficiency, devotion, warmth and affection, and so young. So young and so fair. Eve, my understudy. Didn't you know? Of course I knew. Just slipped your mind. I know. Only thing. What I go after, I want to go after. I don't want it to come after me. Don't get up. And please stop acting as if I were the queen mother. Sorry, I didn't Outside mean... of a beehive, Margot, your behavior would hardly be considered either queenly or motherly. You're in a beehive, pal, didn't you know? We're all busy little bees, full of stings, making honey day and night. Aren't we, honey? Very touching, very academy of dramatic art. That bitter cynicism of yours is something you've acquired since you left Radcliffe. That cynicism you refer to, I acquired the day I discovered I was different from little boys. Ah, come on, get up. I'll buy you a drink. I'll admit I may have seen better days, but I'm still not to be had for the price of a cocktail. Like a salted peanut. <laughs> What's so funny? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing? Everything. Everything's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> 